Thamie K YouTube live video. And today I have two things that are fun to show you. Um, the first one is going to be about a fundraiser that I'm doing and I will try to make it quick and get on to what you actually came here to see, which is the, um, the new products that I got from, <laughs> from the 2021 to 2022 annual catalog pre-order. So I'm very excited to show you all the goods that I've got here. Um, but first I wanted to tell you really quickly about the fundraiser that I'm doing. Um, so it is, if you're unaware, it's Autism Awareness, World Autism Awareness Day today. And so I'm doing a little fundraiser this weekend. Um, for, and I'm gonna be donating 20% of any merchandise that is purchased through my online store uh, to the Autism Foundation of New Jersey. Um, and I will say that I did hear that the Autism Foundation New, Jer New Jersey is having some trouble with their credit card processing today, which I'm like, ah, oh, of all days, of course. <laughs> but um, anyway, so if you are interested in purchasing, you can definitely go out to my online store and um, grab a few things that you're needing. If you order $50 or greater, you're going to get entered into a drawing for some giveaways that I'm doing on Monday. Um, otherwise, if you aren't interested in purchasing and just want to donate, you can definitely do that too. And you can donate to any autism-related charity. Um, it can be something local, which actually I think is probably a little better than doing some of the national ones because then it goes to your area to help people who need it. And um, so if you donate directly and send me a screenshot of your donation of $25 or greater sometime this weekend, um, you're also going to be entered to win some of the goodies that I have. So I've got a couple prizes. I'm going to have some of them here with me. So these are the Spotlight Project bracelets. And these are actually made by adults with... Um, intellectual disabilities, so autism, Down syndrome, um, that type of thing. And um, they're bracelets that are handmade by them and they actually earn money for it. So this is their job is putting these bracelets together and um, the proceeds from it go back to benefit their organization. So it's a very cool thing. Um, if you're interested, you can just go to the Spotlight Project co.com and they have their own website out there you can go take a peek and they actually have uh, pictures of the people who do the creating of the bracelets and actually they have a couple different there are three different ones so I showed you the pink one then I have a gray one and there's also a blue one that I'll be giving away on Monday and then I will have a stamp mini stamp and cut and emboss machine that I whoops that was the pink one again sorry <laughs> I get the blue one out here then I have a mini stamp and cut and emboss machine that I will also be this is the blue one sorry um, but I will also be given away as well as two $50 gift certificates for purchasing Stampin' Up! merchandise for me. So um, if you're interested, like I said, all you need to do is either place an order through my online store of $50 or greater and I'll donate 20% of that to um, the Autism Foundation in New Jersey or you can choose your own donation and um, send a donation of $25 or greater to any charity throughout the world. <laughs> well, um, probably one in your local area, um, that uh, helps people with autism or intellectual disabilities and send it over to me, a screenshot of your donation of $25 or greater, and you'll also be entered. Um, just so you know, the prizes I can only send to people within the United States, so just be aware of that, but I do welcome anybody to go ahead and um, donate because it's a very worthy cause. Okay, if you have questions about that, I did do a blog post today, which is stampwithamyk.com. You can head out there and take a peek at the blog post, and um, if you have questions, let me know. Okay, now the real reason that you all actually came is to see the new products from the upcoming catalog. <laughs> and so let me go ahead. Well, I'll start with the ink pads probably that we can go over the names of things. So these are the beautiful new in colors, five new in colors from Stampin' Up! And I will pull out cardstock and everything so you can take a peek. So the first one we have is Soft Succulent, and it's a beautiful shade of green, probably a little darker than Mint Macaron is what I would call it. Um, it's sort of between Mint Macaron and Just Jade, if that makes sense. It's kind of a halfway in between. Um, absolutely beautiful, beautiful uh, color. Thank you, Melanie. I appreciate that. Thanks to everybody for, and uh, Con, uh, Con Con, I'm assuming Connie maybe. Um, so, and Tina, I appreciate it. So thanks so much for hopping out. And again, go take a peek on my blog. And if you're interested in donating, uh, send me a screenshot of what you sent. So, all right, next up, we've got Pale Papaya, which is a similar tone to what Grapefruit Grove was. If you remember that color, it's kind of a, a soft peachy color. And it's, again, absolutely beautiful. So, hey, Karen, glad you're here live as well. Um, next up, we have Fresh Freesia, which is a lighter purple shade. Um, it's, it's lighter, 
it's a different tone than Highland Heather, but um, it's lighter than that. I don't even know how to describe it. I'm not sure what, what color it's similar to. I was trying to come up with something, but I'll show you the card stacks and that'll probably show you the colors a little bit better. Hey, Karen, thanks for joining. I'm glad you're here and happy Easter to you as well. Oh, oh, Connie, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't recognize your YouTube name. So, <laughs> all right. Um, we got Polished Pink, which is a really pretty... Um, uh, it's brighter than a flamingo pink, but um, it's a really pretty pink. Actually, I love that color. And then I have Evening Evergreen, which is a darker, uh, really pretty deep, dark evergreen shade. Um, you will note that I do have, once again, I don't know if you saw my Facebook post uh, last week, but, uh, oh, it's like an or old orchid. You're right. I knew there was a color similar, but I couldn't come up with it. So um, I had, when I opened up my box of goodies today, there was a little evening evergreen incident. <laughs> and it actually wasn't my fault this time. The cap on my ink refill came about halfway off, and there was sort of green everywhere. <laughs> So some of the stuff got stained with green. For the most part, it didn't get on hardly anything, but a couple of the ribbons, um, you'll see a little green on them and um, Stampin' Up! is replacing them, so there's no worries there. Um, so if you ever have anything like that that happens with an order from me, let me know and I will call Stampin' Up! They are always happy to replace things. So, All right, so this is um, Pale Papaya for the cardstock color. So this is, um, it's, you know, I'm gonna kind of hold it and kind of move it around a little bit in the different lights. So hopefully you can see it and get a good idea of what color that is. Again, it's a, a, um, a kind of a pale peachy color. It's very, like I said, really pretty. I think it's gonna be a good addition to the color. Um, I think it's gonna go well with, it's probably, I don't know. I'm, I think it's gonna go well with a lot of things. It'll be kind of a nicer neutral, I think, so. Um, yeah, getting ready for Christmas early. Uh, if only, and maybe I should have pulled out the real red and seen if I could explode that everywhere. <laughs> so, all right. So this is our fresh freesia, which is the light purple, and as Connie pointed out, kind of an orchidy type color. And next up, we have got um, soft. I almost called it seaweed. <laughs> Soft succulent. Goodness, like I said, all the seaweed is what came to my head when I'm like, this is not seaweed. So, <laughs> so all right, so it's, it's a very pretty, like I said, a little bit darker than mint macaron, um, not as dark as just jade. So it's a nice in between those two color shades. Um, next up, we have polished pink, which again is a really pretty, kind of a bright, true pink, which, you know, I am a. Uh, Believe it or not, I'm a pink person. I don't know. I'm not very girly, but I do love the color pink when I'm stamping. So this one's going to be beautiful for all things floral or anything like that. And then this is the Evening Evergreen. Uh, it's a it's a different tone than Purple Posy is. Purple Posy had more of a has more of like a gray undertone to it. When I look at it, this one it's different. It's a definitely much more of a true purple to me. So. Um, and then this is our Evening Evergreen, which is, again, a really beautiful, I think this one's going to be fantastic for, well, it'll be beautiful all the time, but um, anything nature-related, Christmas is going to be beautiful for, um, fall even is going to be nice. So, so those are the, that's the cardstock. Um, Stampin' Up! also in the In Colors has done In Color Jewels, and they're little... Um, sort of little rhinestone-y things on the smaller side, which is good because I, I really, really like those. So um, I think the green has a gray tone to it. I don't see that. I see it as a pretty, it's a real kind of true evergreen to me. I don't, like, maybe it's just the camera, but I definitely don't see gray in that one at all. So, um, all right. So, so these are the little jewels, so little and shiny and small, which is, makes great card front pieces and accents and pretty things to look at. Then we've got some ribbon. Um, this is, um, what is the name of this stuff? It's the Open Weave 3 8 inch ribbon, and it's in all of the in colors. So this is your polished pink. This is the Fresh Freesia. So there's the purpley color. I should probably have something white. I don't know if I've got any white papers that are I could stick underneath here. I probably should have done that, and it probably might have shown the colors a little bit. Maybe this will work. If I do that, that'll probably show the colors a little bit better rather than uh, on the brown. Um, this is the pale papaya for the ribbon. And it's all the same type of ribbon, it's just the different colors. And then here we have got the soft succulent, which is the soft green color. And then 
The final one is the Evening Evergreen, which is the nice dark shade of green. So we've got um, pretty ribbon in all of the new in colors, which is always nice to have little pretty accents. And it's smaller ribbon, which again, to me is always nicer because um, it ties a little bit better for, for bows and those types of things. Um, Stampin' Up! also has sets of blends in all the new in colors. So I didn't open these up because you know, I wasn't gonna be coloring with them instantly. Um, but just so you know, I did get blends in all the new in colors. And there is a set of regular Stampin' Right markers. So there are definitely lots of, lots of pretty things uh, coming. So the succulent color, is it gray green? Um, mm, I don't know. To me, I, again, I wouldn't call it gray green. I don't know. To me, it's more of on the mint side. Like, a, like I said, it's closer to mint macaron. It's sort of an in-between shade for mint macaron and just jade, if that makes any sense. But it's, it's a really pretty, definitely a pretty color of green. So um, colors match my shirt sleeves, kind of. Actually, I didn't even realize that when I put the shirt on, but they sort of match. <laughs> so there are our new uh, Stampin' Right markers to go with the, all of the new in colors as well. So I think that's all the new in color stuff that I have. There is a pack of Design Series paper that's in color, um, but unfortunately we weren't able to order that yet um, since it was a little delayed arriving. Hopefully that'll be in sometime soon. All right, uh, next up, and hopefully I'm catching all of the, uh, oh, you're anxiously waiting for the UPS man. I'm so glad he showed up on time today. I was like, woo, -woo. So, <laughs> so hopefully um, I'm catching all the comments. And if I miss anything, feel free to ask your question again, and I will be happy to, to run back and um, answer it later. So I'm going to start with a couple of the sweets. This one is the hand pen sweet and it's got a really pretty stamp set so i'll hold it here for a second it's one of the two-step stamping um, images where you stamp and obviously can um, stamp your your um, fill-in images over the top of the the larger outlined images and then it's got some really pretty sentiments i love the font in this one um, and then of course there are coordinating dies which you all know that i love those so we've got a die that will cut out around this a die that will cut this um, some accessory pieces here a little scalloped edge and then this die looks like it will fit and die cut um, so if you wanted to overlay, this is a 90% size, so let me open it up on the inside, and that may show us a little bit better. Hopefully, if I can get it on here the right way. Maybe. Well, maybe it doesn't fit over it. I was assuming it would, but it doesn't. It must just be an accent piece. So, but very cool. Anyway, I should have tried it out, I guess, before... Um, messing around with it and pulling it out here on the, <laughs> on the video. So, okay, so there, again, there are some good accessory pieces, layering dies, um, that kind of thing in the die set. And um, this is something new that Stampin' Up! is doing. They're changing the, um, how they're sending out their photopolymer stamp sets. They used to have the, the images printed on the acetate sheets, so if you ever lost that, you were kind of in trouble. And um, uh, I was going to see somebody else's, but yeah, UPS is running late. They definitely, like I said, I, <laughs> I was glad that my guy showed up on time. So, um, but they are actually, they're printing on the cover of the um, stamp set instead of, not the cover, on the, the little cover sheet for the stamp set instead of on the acetate sheet. So it's definitely, it's very nice because you'll be able to just stick your stamps right over the top of the, the images in here and you're going to know if they are missing um, rather than having to keep track of the acetate sheet. So it definitely is a nice little um, feature and something new that Stampin' Up! with the upcoming catalog, all the photopolymer stamp sets, the new ones, and they're going to transition the older ones to have the full wraparound uh, inserts in them and then they're going to have the the stamp set printed on the inside, which is cool. So definitely a nice little bonus for that. So, um, all right, so that is the stamp set bundle. Then we have the Genial Gems, and I'll let you, they're kind of sparkly and pretty, and they are in Pale Papaya, and I believe that is, I'm sure that it is, I should have checked it before, <laughs> um, Pale Papaya and uh, Soft, succulent i believe no no sorry i was wrong this is mint macaron in here um so it's very close like i said but it's mint macaron and then uh, pale papaya for the colors in those and then there's a pack of designer series paper and i'll run oh i just smacked the camera totally with the paper pack sorry about that um the colors in this they're the hand penned designer series paper pack it's 12 by 12 sheets um and it is 12 sheets uh six 
double-sided designs. So you get two of each one in the pack. And the colors are Basic Black, Blushing Bride, Cinnamon Cider, Daffodil Delight, Garden Green, Highland Heather, Mint Macaron, Misty Moonlight, Pale Papaya, Pool Party, and Whisper White. So that's a whole list of colors. And it is beautiful paper. So again, this is one side. And the, I just, I love it. So, so pretty. <laughs> and then the back side of it has got um, just kind of a more neutral pattern on it. And then this is the next one. And the colors in this are just, they're beautiful. And ooh, this is really pretty too. And then there's kind of the, again, a little more neutral on the background. It is beautiful paper. So, and then this is, whoop, this is another design in it. Um, again, some of my favorite colors in here are just so, so pretty. And I love that it's kind of subtle. Ooh, this is really nice too on the back. It's just light and pink. And then this is another paper. This one, I love the images in here. It's just so, so pretty. All right, so that's one page. And then flipping it over on the back. And it's the um, Fresh Freesia. So it's beautiful paper, Debbie. That's definitely for sure. So um, next pattern. And it's all sort of that watercolory look too, which is another one of those things that I love, especially for backgrounds on cards and polka dots. I, you know, anything that's got polka dots, I'm always all over that. Between polka dots and the wood grain, <laughs> definitely. Um, you're still waiting on the UPS guy? I don't know, maybe he came to my house first, Karen. I'm not gonna complain that he did. <laughs> all right, um, so then we've got, this is the last pattern in the pack. And then the back side has got the stripes in mint macaron. So very, very pretty. And then the last thing in that suite of products is a pack of uh, Memories and More card pack. And there's actually cards and envelopes that coordinate with this. Um, but again, those were, we weren't able to order those. Um, so hopefully I'll be getting those soon and can show those off to you. And I'm not gonna show you every single one of these. I'm just pulling out the pack. Um, hopefully my fingers will work pulling these out of the pack. And it's the hand pinned Memories and More card pack cards but I'll just kind of do a quick little flip through and show you a couple of them. And somehow I managed to always get them upside down. Um, but there's some nice little sentiments on here. These will make pretty card fronts. Um, great for your uh, memory keeping. Beautiful colors, pretty designs. Backside, again, lots of pretty designs on these. Um, so that is the, those are the smaller cards. And then there are a set of the bigger cards in here as well. So again, we've got lots of good sentiments. Oh, there's some stickers here stuck in the middle of it. Uh, a couple of sticker sheets, so I can show you those. And then more of the cards, waiting impatiently. Oh man, Krista. <laughs> so um, usually you hate yellow, but pale papaya is, it's definitely not yellow in my eyes at all. It's, um, I really, yep, I like it. And I like it actually with the, the yellow and the, the pale papaya together are beautiful. So, all right, so we've got, that's the back, back side of the, the larger cards. And that is all for that suite of products. And I may have to, I'm probably going to at some point have to like shift things around. Otherwise you're gonna hear a large crash and wonder what in the world <laughs> has happened. Um, but something has probably just fallen off the table. All right, so next up we have got the Pansy Petals suite. And this one actually, um, I think, yeah, this has got, let's go ahead and get moving on this. I was going to see if there's anything exciting to tell you about it, but looking at it's better than listening to me. So this is the Pansy Patch stamp set, which again, has got some good general sentiments in it, some beautiful layering stamps images. So um, lots of pretty things here. So got the, again, it's the two-step stamping and it is one of your photopolymer sets. So you're going to see that it's got the, the printing on the inside of the case now. So you can just take your stamps, peel them off the acetate sheets, which I guess it's this way around, and then stick them over the top of the images. So you'll be able to keep track of them a little bit better in the case. Ah, uh, the pansies, yes, it's, it's a really, it's a good suite. So, and these are the pansy dies that coordinate with the images in the stamp set. Um, so again, we've got some that cut out the images. There are some layering pieces and accessory pieces. Um, just a beautiful set of dies, very, very nice. So that is the pansy patch stamp set and coordinating pansy dies. And also in this suite of products, we've got bumblebee trinkets. So if you love the ladybugs, you're gonna really love the bumblebees. They are gold, and I'll hold them up here to the screen for a second, and hopefully you can see them pretty well there. Um, they got the little 
bumblebee sort of embossed look to them. And then the backside is solid, which is nice. It makes it much easier for sticking them on um, where you can just take a glue dot and stick it to the project and then it stays on there securely. So those are the bumblebee trinkets. Um, then they have got a beautiful pack of paper and hold on a second. I'll read you the colors on that. This is the Pansy Petals Designer Series paper and it has Blackberry Bliss, Bumblebee, Calypso Coral, Evening Evergreen, Fresh Freesia, Pale Papaya, Polished Pink, Soft Sea Foam, Soft Succulent, and Whisper White in it. So again, all the colors, um, pretty, pretty paper. So got really pretty images in it. And I should pull the dies back over here in a second. I don't know if this ac actually will cut out any of the die cut or any of the images from the paper. I think there's one of the papers that it will. Um, so, and then we have gingham, which ever, well, I shouldn't say everybody, I love gingham. So I was excited to see, <laughs> see this. In the new ink colors, we've got gingham. And then the next page has got uh, kind of the soft sea foam background on it. Um, again, it's, I don't know, lighting wise, I know it's weird trying to see it on a video, but hopefully you can see that it's not white on the background of that one. And then we've got stripes, different shades of green on here. Very pretty. This one has got a whole pile of little flowers on it. I'm assuming they're all pansies, but I'm not a flower person, so I can't see for sure. <laughs> and then we got some gingham in the... Um, uh, fresh freesia that's in the background. So, and here's the sheet that I was talking about that I believe, and yep, Connie's agreeing with me that yes, some of these do cut out. So this, the dies from the, the um, pansy dies actually will cut out some of the images here on this piece of paper. And the smaller one, I think is this one. So you can pretty much, if you wanted to cut out every single one of those, you could cut out every single one of those on the sheet with a die. Although it might take you a little while, but it would probably be worth it because they're beautiful. All right, let me set that aside. Flip this over. Um, much better to stick the stamps into the case versus storing them on the acetate sheets they came on. Um, it's your personal preference. You can do it however you want to. It's just nice that the images are printed on the case so you don't have to worry about if you misplace the acetate sheet or it gets ruined or whatever. The images are still on the inside of the case so you always know what stamps go with it. Um, this is just a little uh, polka dotty paper. And... Then we've got one that's a whole pile of pansies. It's got the darker um, evening evergreen background on it, which is really pretty. And then we've got yellow. Which color of yellow? This must be, it doesn't say. Hmm. It doesn't, oh, bumblebee. I was gonna say, <laughs> so that's bumblebee in here for the, the shade of yellow. And then we've got some leaves on here. And I believe, I thought, maybe not. I thought the leaves actually, I thought there was a, a leaf that you could die cut. Maybe this is, must be the one. Yep, there we go. So you can cut out some of the leaves as well. Oh, and here's the other leaf die. I had the other ones pile up on top of them, so <laughs> I couldn't find them. So here's the other leaf die, so you can die cut all the leaves on this page if you would like to do that as well with your pansy dies. Now we'll set that over there and hopefully won't lose track of any of those. And then the backside's got the gingham on it again in the soft succulent. So it's a beautiful pack of paper, beautiful stamps, beautiful uh, dies. Love the little bumblebees. So really awesome. And hopefully that will all stay. Like I said, I'm, things are starting to get a little topple. <laughs> so, all right. Next suite of products is one that I love. Well, I love them all, but this one I really love too. So, um, Beauty of Friendship is the name of, uh, oh, it's Beauty of the Earth is the name of the suite. So Beauty of Friendship is the name of the stamp set, and it's got beautiful trees in it, um, some nice sentiments in it, and as you know, I do love dyes. <laughs> and this one has got some beautiful tree dyes, um, little bird dyes, um, uh, dies for your sentiments on here. So it's got some that'll fit the smaller, um, narrow sentiments as well as a little bit bigger sentiments. Um, this one got paper that goes with it as well. And one thing that you will see, this is photopolymer. Um, so there are dies that cut out the treetops, um, the little layering pieces of trees, the little, the tree stamped images. Um, and then there is a die that actually cuts out what will be like, it'll look like leaves in the tree, 
But when you see the designer papers, you'll see that it makes a little more sense because there are actually some designer papers that look like leaves um, that you can just lay this die cut right over the top and cut it out and it will look like different shades of leaves or different leaves um, kind of all over in the tree. It's really, it's beautiful. Definitely, this is a must get bundle, must get suite of products. So um, creating, D yes, I love that they created the, the uh, DSP that has the, the coordinating dies with it. It's, oh man, it is the best thing ever. It's, yes, I agree a thousand percent with you. That was definitely a good decision, whoever did it. <laughs> so, um, but this is the, the stamp set. These are the dies. Again, the dies are called beautiful trees dies and they are beautiful so um so again coordinating with the stamp set and then we've got the designer series paper pack there is also a bark embossing folder that looks really cool um, but that was another one of those items that uh, we weren't able to get it at, with this round of pre-ordering hopefully we'll be able to get it soon and i'll be able to show it to you but um at this point that they weren't in stock yet so we couldn't get them but um, so the designer paper is the Beauty of the Earth designer series paper, and it is Bumblebee, Cajun Craze, Cinnamon Cider, Early Espresso, Mary Merlot, Misty Moonlight, Mossy Meadow, Night of Navy, Old Olive, and Whisper White for the colors in it. Um, so this is one of the, the um, patterns in it. And again, it's 12 by 12 paper. It's 12 sheets in a pack, um, six different sheets, 12 designs, so they're two-sided. So this is one of the designs. And then you flip it over, and this is what I was talking about, that actually if you take this larger die, lay it over the top of this, and die cut it, is it looks like leaves. And you'll see some samples when you get your catalog where they've done that, and it's really cool. It's, it's really, they're beautiful. It's, you know, it's a beautiful suite. <laughs> so this is probably, if you do memory keeping or scrapbooking or whatever, this piece of designer paper you're going to love. It's so cool. It's basically like, I don't know if you did it as a kid, where you lay down on the ground and you look up through the trees. That's exactly the look of this to me. So I love it. Oh, UPS, run, run, get your box of things, Marcy. <laughs> you definitely don't want to miss that. So on the back side, um, again, we've got kind of multiple patterns. And again, this die will work perfectly for cutting it out for um, making kind of fall look trees. All right. Oh, Allison says she doesn't like trees. Well, that is a bummer. So, um, but good thing there are lots of other things without trees. So we're, you should see plenty of things that you love in the catalog and they are trees. So this is another uh, one of the patterns. It's got um, just a, kind of some leaves and foliage on it. This one is beautiful to me. I love, it's like the winter evergreens is what this reminds me of. Um, so beautiful, beautiful. And then... Um, we've got one here, which again is just sort of some different leaves and um, different shades, different colors. So very, very pretty. The back side, I don't know why, sometimes I, I don't know, I feel like some of them are upside down, some of them are right side up, and I must have pulled them out of the pack all crazy. But this looks like clouds to me. I'm assuming that's what they were going for with that look, but very pretty, and it's going to be great to put um, your tree die cuts over the top of it and then have a nice little look like cloud background. This one is one of those sheets that's designed to be cut in half and into card fronts. So you can see there the, the tree kind of watercolory look and it's, you know, it's the exact same on the top and the bottom. So uh, very nice, love this and love that this can be the whole card front at a sentiment and it's done. And then the back side, this one is sort of your evergreen forest look. It's similar to the blue one, only this is the green version of it. So they are beautiful colors. I mean, it's just, I love all the nature stuff in this, in this catalog. It's full of it. So, and then this one is a whole sheet of just looks like different trees. Again, some of them are, look like they're a little more fall. So I think, again, this one is one that you could cut up and make into beautiful card fronts. And that's all you'd need is a piece of designer paper and a sentiment, and it would be done. So yes, the designer papers are beautiful in this catalog. And then this one is just, um, hopefully it's showing well. I don't know, the light sometimes gets a little weird on the darker colors, but it's a, like an early espresso, I think is the color of brown that this one is. I'm pretty sure, yep, early espresso, and it's just the wood grain look to it. Um, so that is a beautiful, beautiful suite of products. And again, there is a, uh, an embossing folder that goes with it that we weren't able to order, but um, hopefully we'll be able to get our hands on it soon. Uh, the last suite of things that we were able to get, and I'll flip this over so hopefully you can see the punch a little bit better, is the um, Simply Elegant suite. And this has a stamp set and a punch. So this is the stamp set. It's the Elegantly Said. And again, it's got some really pretty sentiments in it. Um, love the, the different fonts in here. A real pretty kind of flourish image. 
I'm sure there's a word for it. I call it flourish because that's kind of what I call all the little fluffy things. <laughs> and then we've got um, a set of flowers down here. So a stamp. This one is one of the red rubber stamp sets. And then there is a cool punch that goes with it. It looks, I don't, it's sort of like a, I don't know, old timey tavern looking sign to me. <laughs> and it fits around most of the sentiments in here. This one's the only one that I think that won't fit in it. Um, but the rest of the sentiments I think fit inside this punch when they are stamped. And so you can have um, lots of pretty little, you know, embellishments for your card. There is a beautiful pack of designer paper that coordinates with it. That's got um, a bunch of metallics in it. And of course, we, that wasn't available for the pre-order either. It should be here soon, so hopefully I can do a separate order and um, show you all that. But uh, this is the Elegant Tag Punch, and it is bundled together with the Elegantly Said Stamp Set. And then also in that suite of products, we have the Simply Elegant Trim. See, there's some of the green, green ink that got all over everything. So, And it is gold and silver, and it's, it's sort of a cord. Is what I call it. It's and it should tie reasonably well, and it's not the kind we have had some in the past, and have some currently that um, the cord frays a lot on the ends. This one doesn't, which I actually really like. Um, you can fray it if you want to, but it's not. You don't have to, and it doesn't automatically fray when you pull it off, which I love about that. So, we have got um, again. This is the simply elegant trim, and it comes. Both of these come in the pack together, and. I don't know if it tells me how long this is or not. I feel like they're 10 yards each, but I'd have to double check that because I don't know for sure if that's the case. All right, moving along. Um, next up, we've just got some bundles. So we've got the Flowers of Friendship stamp set, which has got, you know, again, I love the mixed fonts in here and I absolutely love this kind of scripty looking font. So you've got thank you, many thanks, um, little card, big thanks. Um, there's a little sentiment in here. Then we've got some flower images. And we have a punch that coordinates with the flower images. This is the flowers and leaves punch, very appropriately named. <laughs> so we've got, um, these are red rubber images. We've got the flowers in here and leaves, and you can punch those out with this little punch. Um, there's a little border image with the flowers on it. Um, again, good for coloring. Um, this would be a good one for heat embossing. So lots of fun things to play with on this bundle. Right, a couple more bundles that we have. Um, this one, if you loved the trees a minute ago, you're gonna love this one as well. This is the Inspired Thoughts stamp set bundle. So this is the stamp set, which, you know, sentiments, we always all love those and we always say that we need more. Um, so this is a whole set of just sentiments. And um, again, kind of crosses all the seasons. We've got sympathy, there's hello, there are Christmas sentiments in here, congratulations, thank you. Um, so all sorts of good things in this one. And then the dyes are called Inspiring Canopy Dyes. And oh, <laughs> it's, I love them. So this is the one, the trees are all one die. So you can cut those out. And then there are the little, um, leaf die cuts that you can make little, you can either make it be plain bare and it can be a winter or you can do fall colors and it can be fall or greens and it can be summer or pinks and blues and it can be spring. Um, there's a little uh, horizon die cut and then I'm assuming that's supposed to be a little sun or a moon or whatever you want it to be. So this is definitely another one of those really, really good bundles. And again, this is the Inspiring Thoughts stamp set and the Inspiring Canopy dies. And they are bundled together um, and you would get a discount if you buy them together in the bundle. Um, next up, we have the Color and Contour stamp set. This one has got some really pretty flower images in it. Again, the kind of the mixed font sentiments that I love. Uh, some, some leafy images in it, a splatter image in it. Um, it's a two-step stamping. So you, obviously this is your outline and then this is your um, layering stamping. And then we've got this coordinates with this image, this coordinates with this image. Um, so again, some little leaves and leaf, leaves, <laughs> leaves and things that go with it. Uh, oh yeah, it's great. You are gonna love it. So, all right. And this one is also a photopolymer. So it's got the printing on the inside of it. And then we've got an awesome set of dies that goes with it. These are dies, obviously cut at your flower images. And then this is a bunch of scalloped rectangles with different little stitched pieces on them. So this one's just got like the eyelet kind of look to it. This one is scalloped and has little tiny dots on it. This one is scalloped with stitches. 
This one is scalloped with lines and dots, so that one's really cool. And then this one is, again, just sort of like a small eyelet. Um, I'll hold these up for a second close to the screen, so hopefully you can see the different um, kind of stitched look to all of these. But this is a great set of rectangular dies. And then this is also one of the stitched and um, scalloped edge dies as well. So make beautiful card fronts. Um, it really, it's pretty. It's definitely a good one. Again, this is color and contour, and it's bundled together um, for, and you'll save 10% if you get them together. All right, next up, we have got the Quiet Meadow stamp set and coordinating dies. This is, again, another one of those really pretty, just kind of general, there's a thinking of you, um, you're too kind, love, so kind of can be used for a little more general cards. And then we've got the flowers that you can stamp and color if you would like to, or stamp and emboss, or whatever it is you want to do with that. There's a splatter image on here. Um, it's a red rubber stamp set. And then the dies that go with it. These are the meadow dies, and they are beautiful. So we've got, these are basically, they'll be silhouette look die cuts with it. And there are butterflies, and there's a little tag, and here's one for the sentiment. Um, these are little, I'm assuming little leaves. I'm not even entirely sure what those are. I'll have to go see what the samples, how they use them in the samples, but I'm assuming they're little leaves or something. Um, but a beautiful, beautiful set of dies. Again, these are the meadow dies and bundled together with a quiet meadow stamp set. So lots of pretty things coming. Um, next up, I swear we're almost getting there. We're almost there. <laughs> we're getting down to it. Um, next up, we've got some... Uh, embellishments. So this is the Baker's Twine Essentials Pack, and this actually has, <coughs> excuse me, I should grab a drink before I start coughing, um, has Baker's Twine in it. Baker's Twine in it, of course it is. Ah, okay. Um, it's crumb cake, very vanilla, uh, whisper white, basic black, and I think this one is gray granite. Um, the basic black and whisper white have, I think, well, maybe it's the crumb cake. Whisper white crumb cake. I think, yep, yeah, I think. Um, Whisper white I know has twice as much, and I'm thinking that the crumb cake one might have that. So I think this is 10 yards, and these are each five yards. Um, but they're baker's twine, and it's a very thin baker's twine, which is nice. So let me see if I can get a little bit of it pulled off of one of the spools here. So a little bit thinner, easy to tie bows. Uh, again, it'll work really awesome with all of the kind of floral and um, nature-type patterns and designs and things we have. So the Baker's Twine Essentials Pack is the name of that. Oh, it's not basic white. Did I, what did I call it, something else? Hmm, okay. <laughs> so, all right, um, these are the Loose Flower Flourishes. And... Uh, uh, if I call it Whisper White, I apologize. It should be Basic White. I'm sorry. <laughs> Someday I will teach my old brain the new tricks, but it's hard. As I get older, it only gets worse. <laughs> so, um, all right. So it is Whisper White? Hmm. Okay. You could be right. I don't know. I didn't, I don't have the description in front of me, so... I will fall back to whatever Karen says because she's good about knowing all that stuff off the top of her head or about sneaking in and looking at the catalog. All right, so these are the Loose Flower Flourishes and they are in the in colors. So there's Fresh Freesia, Polished Pink, and Pale Papaya. And they're pretty little um, flowers that are flat on the back that should be easy to adhere with a little glue dot to your project. Um, so again, just some little kind of sparkly pretty embellishments. And we've got a couple of ribbons, and I see that somehow I have more green ink on me. I'm just a mess. <laughs> so I have green ink everywhere. All right, so this is the Highland Heather uh, Half Inch Grow Green Ribbon. And it's real pretty and sparkly. So hopefully you can see it on the, the screen when I hold it and kind of move it around a little bit. But it's a really pretty ribbon. It's a lighter weight, so it should tie nice bows and those types of things. So very pretty, and again, Highland Heather. Um, it's not basic white, it's whisper white. Okay, I, again, I'll go with what Karen says because I, <laughs> I don't have the catalog right in front of me. So um, this is Smoky Slate and it's called seven to eight inch textured ribbon. Um, so it looks, I don't, 
um, I'm sure there's probably a term for it, um, what this texture is, but it's really pretty. That's all I can tell you. And again, it's a really soft ribbon and should tie nicely um, into bows. So and it'll make for nice packaging things as well. Uh, it's basic white. Okay. It says white. It just says white. Okay, so I'll stop saying whisper and basic. It's just white. <laughs> so... Um, this one, actually, I have to be a little careful. This one sort of had the green ink that exploded on it. So I'm trying not to <laughs> get it all over myself again. But this is pale papaya in white. Um, this is called woven ribbon. It's a half inch. And if you see any green globs of ink on the ribbon, your, yours will not have green globs. Mine is just special because my um, ink refill <laughs> uh, messed everything up. So um, but this is the ribbon. Again, it's a half inch wide and it's real soft ribbon, so it should make nice bows, um, be easy to tie. And again, it's in pale papaya. And I will set that aside and probably rub my fingers together in hopes that I did not just get green ink all over myself again. Because I don't know why that one was the thing that got it the worst. Um, last embellishment that I have here is silver and clear epoxy essentials is what the name of these are. Um, so they're obviously silver and clear. Whoops, I flip it over. Um, the clear ones are just truly clear. They don't have any kind of sparkle in them, no glittery or anything like that. Um, they do sparkle just because they're clear and, you know, plastic, but they, there's no sparkle inside them. Um, you can probably see the designs a little bit better. So we've got the little raindrop, there's a um, diamond, and then there's little circles. And again, these are silver and clear, both, in a mixed pack together. And... We've got another Memories of More card pack um, that we were able to order. This one is the What a Year Memories and More card pack. And I'm going to read the colors off of it because they're not listed on the, the back of the pack. So I've got to read it off the sheet that I have over here, which is Basic Gray Bumblebee, uh, Evening Evergreen, Pale Papaya, Polished Pink, Pool Party, and Poppy Parade. So lots of the P colors are, <laughs> are in this one. And again, it's the What a Year Memories and More card pack cards. Um, so again, just lots of fun designs. These will make good card fronts. And if you do memory keeping, they'll make really cute um, pages. So some fun little cards in the pack. Backside, again, it's just, you know, more of the kind of fun images. Love the little crafty looking ones. Um, got some birds, some one that says smile. So little clouds. So definitely some fun ones. And then there are a couple of sticker sheets in here. Um, so we've got this one, this one, and then we've got the different, again, looks like they're just going by the weeks. If you did something every week, um, maybe a planner or something like that. If you do planners, this might be kind of awesome to get as well. Um, that's the final sticker sheet. And then we have got some of the larger Memories of More card pack cards. Again, similar colors and designs. Um, but these will be fun to put on card fronts. And um, again, if you do memory keeping or have a planner or anything like that, um, these will be fun for that as well. And then the back side, got a few more. Just some fun, you know, these are definitely much more fun. Now, you know, they're, they're pretty, I love the bright colors on them, um, but just some fun images. There's your scissors again. All right, so that is the What a Year Memories of More card pack. And a couple more things and then we're done. <laughs> All right, so we were able to order a couple of die sets um, that are standalone. So this is the first one, it is the Tailor Made Tags. And it's all tags. Um, and again, this one has got, um, there's a stitched edge on these, and this one's got the dotted edge on it. And sorry, the heat just turned on, so you're gonna hear a little racket in the background for a minute. Um, and then there are the little, um, you can die cut out the little tabs that you can stick on um, to make these a little bit reinforced. Um, so a cool set of little tag dies. And this one is really awesome. This is the basic borders dies. So if you'd like to have the little pretty edges on your cards, this makes it super, super easy because it's a great set of dies. And it cuts in the middle and then it stitches on both sides. So if it's something where you wanna do a two-sided or need it to be one way or the other, um, the, these three will definitely work well to do that because um, again, they're, you know, they stitch or put the little dots on both sides and then cut it right down the middle. So this will be nice. Um, this one actually, to me, looks like clouds. So if you turned it and kind of layered it up, I think you could do layered clouds in the background with that one. 
Um, and then we've got just a kind of an angled, this is a rounded, and then we've got a little um, triangle look. So these will make fun card fronts and um, fun little edges and, and um, little extra borders on your cards. And again, this is the basic borders dies. Uh, next up, we got a couple of just individual stamp sets that we were able to order. The party puffins, how cute are those? <laughs> so I love the fun sentiments in there. Um, cute little little puffins. I guess they're not penguins, they're puffins. Um, but little fish with a bow on them. So definitely a cute set um, and a fun one. And it's red rubber as well. So this should be fun to um, stamp and color. So a fun little set. And then we've got the spiral die background stamp. If you were um, much younger than me, you may remember tie-dye and all that sort of thing from way back when. Apparently it must be, you know, that it's coming back. <laughs> so, um, so that's kind of the look is the um, tie-dyed look to it. So a fun little background stamp for those of us that are um, young at heart, we'll just call ourselves. <laughs> so, all right, um, last, we've got some host exclusive items. So tie-dye is back in style. See, I am not on the cutting edge of style. <laughs> I don't know anything about it. So um, it was seen at Woodstock. I, I'm not quite old enough to have been able to go to Woodstock or really even been around, but I won't. Anyway, <laughs> I'm old enough to remember tie-dye. So, all right, so we've got, this is a host exclusive stamp set. Um, so these are the ones that are available if you or have an order of $150 or greater or a party of $150 or greater, you can get these um, as options with your host cash. So this is one of them. This is Prince and Princess, and um, it's got some fun little sentiments in it. Uh, the swan, and we've got the little frog. There's lily pads, flowers, a little crown. Um, so definitely a fun stamp set. And again, this is Prince and Princess, and it's one of the host exclusive sets. Uh, then we have natural textures, which these are awesome. They're really cool. Um, and again, this is a red rubber stamp. So this one looks like really up close weave, fabric weave. Um, this one looks like tiles or brick. This one again looks like a little bit of a fabric weave. And this one to me looks like a wood grain almost on it. So it's a really cool, yes, a nice nice textured stamp. It'll make good backgrounds and you know, just some, a fun one to play with a little bit. So again, this is a host stamp set. Um, that you can earn with either an order or party of $150 or greater. And then the last host stamp set, but there's one more host item that I'm going to show you that I'm actually really excited about. So this is the last host stamp set and it's called Better Places. And again, it's just um, fun nature scenes or pretty nature scenes, I should say, not necessarily fun. Um, and then some good sentiments in it. And again, it's a red rubber stamp. And again, these are this is a host exclusive. Um, so you can get this with the orders or parties of 150 or greater. And the last thing that I have to show you is the final host item. And this one is the one that I'm like, oh, ah. so it's awesome. They actually are doing a huge pack of designer series paper. It's called the Pattern Party Designer Paper. It is crushed curry, flirty flamingo, granny apple green, misty moonlight, pale papaya, pink or petal pink, pool party, Poppy Parade and Whisper White for the colors in it. And it is a huge pack of 48 sheets, 12 by 12. So you actually, it's 12 different um, pieces of paper. So you actually get four of each of these in this huge pack of paper. Um, so this is a fun kind of rainbow look, diagonal striped. Backside has got some pretty flowers that you can either leave it black and white or you can color it if you'd like to. Uh, then we've got some kind of the polka dot look Backside is sort of a woven, to me it looks sort of like a woven fabric kind of look. Again, black and white. Now we've got really pretty floral image on this one. On the backside we've got black and white gingham. And did you notice the back of these are all black and white? So yay! I love black and white cardstock because you can make it be whatever you want it to be. <laughs> For color wise, you can leave it black and white or you can color it however you want. Um, so here we've got uh, these, I guess it goes like this. Um, so some little branches. Backside is a kind of mm, plaid look, I guess is what you call it. Again, there's probably a term for it, but um, black and white on the back. This one has got your green floral images on it. The backside is these awesome polka dots. I love polka dots. 
This one is striped, obviously. Backside is little polka dot stripes, so they're awesome. Then we have got a cheetah. I think that's cheetah. Some sort of animal print. I'm pretty sure it's cheetah. <laughs> um, in pink, so that's kind of cool. I know that the animal animal prints are really big in clothes right now, so if you're into animal prints, you're going to love this pack of paper too. Uh, then we have got some sort of, uh, I don't know, arrows, feathery looking little lines. Black and white again on the back of that one. Um, this one's kind of cool, a little scalloped look to it. And again, in rainbow colors. The back side is some beautiful leaves. So very pretty. And again, this would be great for fall. You can color the leaves, whatever color you want them to be. And then we got some little rainbow hearts. These are cute as well. So a fun little one for kind of all seasons. It looks like are covered in this pack of paper as well. I did, I accidentally hit the overnight button. Well, not accidentally, I accidentally on purpose hit the overnight button. I got it to, him, to me on time, which was kind of shocking because usually <laughs> overnight anymore is a little bit loose as far as UPS goes, but they got it here and it was here by about 11 o'clock today. So I was extremely happy about that. Um, so we got our basic black and white stripe. And here we've got kind of the pastel shades of the rainbow in stripes. And the backside is black with white polka dots. And then here we've got some uh, kind of fun little scalloped images in blues and greens and yellows. And then the backside is just kind of a, a basic black and white pattern. And then we've got floral on one side. And the backside is kind of your um, more fun polka dots. So, all right, so that is it. That is awesome. I love all the new stuff. I was so excited to see it all. Um, it's a beautiful catalog. And speaking of catalogs, I've actually ordered them for my customers. So if you're a customer of mine, um, you will be getting your catalog soon. Um, they were ordered yesterday and hopefully they will be shipping out here shortly from Stampin' Up. Um, so what else do you want to see? I don't know what y'all want to see back again. Maybe I can pull out the in-color ribbons. Those might be good. Um, so if you're a customer of mine, you can definitely, you'll be getting your catalog soon. Um, if you're not a customer of mine but would like to be uh, and want to copy the catalog, let me know. Drop me an email at amy at stampwithamyk.com and um, I will send you out a catalog as soon as I get my customers out in the mail. And then the last thing is I've got designer series paper shares that I'll be doing, hosting one of those again. Um, the details should be up on my blog within a couple days. I don't know exactly when I'll get it put up there, but hopefully very soon. Uh, so again, keep an eye on my blog, which is stampwithamyk.com. And don't forget about my autism awareness fundraiser. Go check out the details and um, either donate or order and uh, I'll get you entered to win some of the prizes. So um, thanks so much. Can't wait to play. So I'll let y'all go so I can dig in. Well, actually, I need to put all this away. <laughs> and then I can dig in and start playing. So have a good afternoon. Have a great weekend. Um, if you're celebrating Easter, happy Easter.